Salsita is an emblematic treat of the Yucatan Peninsula and it's a must try whenever you're in the area. We are obsessed with these things. Every chance we get to eat one, we take advantage. We've had them here in Merida, in Cancun, Playa del Carmen, Oaxaca, Chiapas, and we've seen that they've started to expand to different parts of Mexico. Marquesitas are now known as one of the staple foods for Merida and the Yucatan Peninsula, but they haven't even been around that long. And the cheese is not Mexican cheese at all. Actually, it's Dutch. So we asked ourselves, how does this very young treat with European cheese become such a staple food of the Yucatan Mexican Peninsula? Welcome to Eat Baila Travel, my name is Jenny, Kevin's behind the camera, and today's vlog is going to explore the origin story of the Marquesita. The best places to find Marquesitas in Merida are at parks and in the streets of the city center. Centro is full of tourists and tourist prices, so we came to a local favorite, Parque Alemán. ¿Cuál, cuál es la marquesita original? Like, solo queso de bola, amigo. La solo queso de bola. Lo, las combinadas son queso de bola Nutella, queso de bola cajeta, queso de bola lechera, de tres ingredientes, puede queso de bola Nutella, Filadelfia, puede queso de bola Nutella, plátano, puede Nutella, queso de bola. Before we jump into its origin story, you might be wondering, what exactly is a marquesita? This emblematic treat resembles a combination of a crepe and a waffle cone, cooked in minutes on iron plates in high heat. You can fill it in any way you like, but the iconic ingredient around here is the queso de bola, or this Dutch Edam cheese. The marquesita maker carefully crafts each and every one, flipping it over and over for an even crisp on each side until it's finally ready for its filling. We asked for the queso de bola with cajeta on this one because we love the savory and sweet combo in one crunch. It gets rolled up while it's still soft, but he needs to act fast and finish filling it before it cools and hardens into its crunchy consistency. Wait, more cheese? What? This is the most cheese we've seen on a marquesita. Most vendors usually put cheese only in the filling and not on top like this. The average price in the Merida Centro nowadays is about 60 pesos, but we paid 40 for this one with double the amount of cheese. like a mame. He gave us a sample of other Dutch cheese to try that is more salty. There are options depending on what kind of sweet and salty balance you like. Pretty good. Wow. Our favorite marquesita is with queso de bola and cajeta. But look at all these options to choose from. Other popular combos are Nutella and Edam cheese, cream cheese and strawberry or blackberry jam, condensed milk, peanut butter, and fresh fruit. The marquesita only continues to grow in popularity and people are getting creative with the fillings and flavors. Check out these marquesita options from Progreso, a nearby port in Beach Town. They had Oreo marquesitas, marquesitas with gummies, with gancitos, and even mazapan. So the history of la marquesita is a little bit complicated. As far as we know, there's a couple of different theories as to when this beautiful treat was invented. One of the theories is that Don Leopoldo had an ice cream business in Isamal and wanted to figure out how to make money during the winter season when people don't really consume ice cream. So what he did is he made a flat cone and decided to put a, a bunch of different toppings on it so that he can sell during the winter season. Another theory says that Don Leopoldo started making these marquesitas 30 years ago, but not in 1930, and that he's originally from Merida, Yucatan. One thing for sure is that Don Leopoldo was 100% yucateco, just like this marquesita. Well, maybe except the cheese. So this cheese, it's actually from Europe. It's not Mexican at all. And it's like the main ingredient for the marquesita. So how does a European cheese become the main ingredient in a Mexican treat? 
Legend goes that a ship wrecked off the coast of the Yucatan Peninsula in what is today Quintana Roo. And this ship happened to be coming from Europe, the Netherlands. This Dutch ship happened to have Edom cheese, which is now locally known as queso de bola, or ball of cheese. The cheese then began to spread under the black market throughout the peninsula and slowly began gaining popularity. Well, that's one theory. Another theory is that the upper class of the Yucatan Peninsula, which were able to travel to Europe and came back, brought the cheese as souvenirs. However they got here, they're here and they're here to stay. Queso bola is not only emblematic of the Marquesita, it's also a main ingredient in some of the most iconic Yucatecan dishes, like the stuffed ball of cheese, el queso de bola relleno, you got tamales, empanadas, and many other dishes that feature this cheese in the Yucatan cuisine. They've even begun to host an annual festival for the cheese. Okay, this thing's been waiting for me long enough. We're also gonna look for some people and ask them what they like their marquesitas with. Mm. La pregunta del millón, ¿cuál es tu favorita? Mi favorita es que es de bola, Filadelfia, Nutella, son los mi... y lechera. Y lechera, wow. Sí. Dale, gracias, Manuel. No, cuando guste mi nombre, servirle que lo vaya bien. ¿Cuál es tu favorita de marquesito? Eso con Nutella. ¿Cuál es tu marquesita favorita? Pues a mí solo me gusta el de solo queso. ¿Solo queso? Sí, el de queso de bola. El queso de bola. ¿Y a ti, amiguito? Igual. <risa> <risa> ¿Cuál es tu marquesita favorita? La de queso de bola con Nutella. ¿Queso de bola con Nutella? ¿Y por qué? Solo por... La combinación de salado y dulce. I want to say from what I've seen, I think the Nutella and queso de bola is the most popular. I like it. I like also the queso de bola con cajeta. But the other day at Progreso we had a uh, what they call a uh, crepa de mazapan and it had mazapan, peanut butter and queso de bola and it was so so good. Some places get really creative. We've seen a gancito, marquesita. So it's evolving. It's evolving every day and people are wanting to experiment to have new marquesita experiences. So... Mm. It's about like 500 calories in cheese. But it's my last one, so... Got all up. Mm. Different places make their marquesitas differently. Everybody has a different touch. We like coming here at Parque Alemán because we lived in the area last year for a month. And we like how well served they are because of the cheese. We love cheese. There are other places where they put a little bit more Nutella or they just put like a small layer of Nutella. There's some places that get really creative and they like make art and chop it up really nice. But we like here at Parque Alemán. They're also relatively cheaper, about 25 to 30 pesos cheaper than Centro. Centro you get a uh, com uh, combination de marquesita for 60 pesos. Here it was 40. So it all depends. It's, it's also a drive out from Centro, but find your marquesita guy and never let him go. That's what I did when I went to Quintana Roo. Oh my God, this is so good. We hope you enjoyed this video as much as we enjoyed filming it. Make sure to follow us on Instagram, subscribe to our channel so you can see more stories like this. If you want to know about the history of any of your favorite snacks, put it in the comments down below. We'd be more than happy to explore that snack. That's it from us. Se cuidan, se bañan y nos vemos hasta la próxima. Chao.